This is an uh, open read-through exploration of the first two plays of the Chester Mystery Cycle. And the way we're working in the room is we have a number of readers, all brave souls, who are going to come up and pretty much cold read the text. It isn't a performance, it isn't a perfect performance, we will stop and start as we go along if there's anything interesting that comes along. And then if anyone has an interesting point or an interesting question, anyone can go over to this table over here and ring the bell and can ask a question or uh, anything that's interesting. If there's a word that you find particularly interesting, we have uh, in Dictionary Corner over there. Uh, Bex is on uh, the, the, the glossary with all the official books. We're looking at two plays today, the first two plays of the pageants. The first is The Fall of Lucifer, which we're about to start any moment now. God is on standby, ready and willing to go and, and looking forward. Now, we're not going to attempt necessarily to do northern accents, or certainly not a Chester accent. The first play is very much about pride. God turns up and speaks to his angels and says, Here is my throne. This is my lovely throne. Do not sit on my throne. I'm going away now. And God goes away and... And Lucifer says, actually, I quite like this throne. It's quite a, it's a lovely throne. I think I'm going to sit on this throne. And all the angels tells him not to do that, because you know what? God's not going to be best pleased. And of course, God returns and squishes Lucifer and his best friend, Lightborn, quite flat. So we're going to go from the top of the play and we'll see what comes out and see how it goes. So if I can have God to the Oki, please. Ego sum, alpha et o, primus et novissimus. It is my will, it should be so, it is, it was, it shall be thus. I am great God gracious, which never had beginning. The whole food of parent is set in my ascension. I am the trial of the Trinity, which never shall be twinning. Peerless patron imperial, and Patris Sapientia. My beams be all beatitude, all bliss is in my building, all mirth is in my mansuetude, cum Dei Potentia. Both visible and invisible, all is my welding. As God greatest and glorious, all lieth mea licentia, for all the might of the majesty is magnified in me, prince, principle, proved in my perpetual providence. I was never but one, and ever one in three, set in substantial soothness within celestial sapience. The three trials in a throne and true trinity be grounded in my godhead, exalted by my excellence. The might of my making is marked in me, dissolved under a diadem by my divine experience. Now, Sith, I am so solemn and set in my solation, a bigly bliss here will I build, a, a heaven without ending, and cast a comely compass by comely creation. Nine orders of angels be ever to one attending. And we'll just pause there. Um, and uh, one of the things about God is uh, he is one of the people who speaks in Latin. Um, we're talking at a time when accents um, are not so differentiated as they are today uh, in, in, in the way we think of as class. So the people who are upper class are the kind of people who speak in Latin because that's what your, your betters and your, 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 your do, and certainly your priests do. So God is certainly one of the people who comes in and speaks in Latin. He is now going to speak to his angels, how this will be visually signified. There, is, there are hints in the text that suggests that the angels uh, and uh, God, is, the setting is quite magnificent, especially as at the moment. Some of these beautiful angels, especially Lucifer, who's standing by here, uh, are, are, are going to have to fall into something quite terrible in just a moment. Do your endeavour, and doubt you not, under my domination, to sit in celestial safety, all solace to your sending, for all the liking in this lordship be lord to my laudation. Through the might of my most majesty, your mirth shall ever be mending. Lord, through thy grace and might thou hast us wrought nine orders of angels here, as you may see. 
Cherubim and seraphim, through your thought, thrones and dominion, dominations, in bliss to be with principates, that order bright, and protestates in blissful height, also vertutes, though they thy great might, angeli, and also archangeli. Nine orders here be wittily, that you have made here full bright. In thy bliss full right they be, and I, the principal Lord, here in thy sight. Here have I wrought with heavenly might of angels nine orders of great beauty, each one with others, as it is right, to walk about the Trinity. Now, Lucifer and Lightborn, look slowly, you be attending. The blessing of my benignity I give to my first operation. For craft, nay, for cunning, cast never comprehension. Exalt you not to excellency in no high exaltation. Look that you tend right wisely, for hence I will be wending. The world that is both void and vain I form in this formation, with a dungeon of darkness which never shall be ending. These works now be done by my divine formation. This work is now well I wrought, that is so clean and clear. As I you made of naught, my blessing I give you here. We thank thee, Lord, full sovereignty, that us hath formed so clean and clear. Ever in this bliss to abide thee by, grant us thy grace, I to abide here. Here for to bide, God grant us grace, to please this prince without an peer, him for to thank with some solace. A song, now let us sing here. And here is a good point to pause, in that there is a fair amount of music <coughs> hinted in the text, which we sadly cannot emulate at the moment, because we have very little idea what it actually sounded like. But it, they are referred to as minstrels. So here the angels, and there are... A, quite a number of them, um, all sing a song in praise of God, because he enjoys that kind of thing. And God, having listened to this lovely piano to himself, continues. <coughs> now, since I have formed you so fair, and exalted you so excellent, and here I set you next my chair, my love to you is so fervent. Look, you fail not in no despair. Touch not my throne by non-assent. All your beauty I shall appear, and pride fall aught in your intent. Nay, Lord, that we will not indeed for nothing trespass unto thee. Thy great Godhead I we will dread, and never exalt ourselves so high. Thou hast us marked with great might and main, in thy bliss evermore to bide and be. In lasting life our life to lead, and bearer of light thou hast made me. And I am marked of that same mould, loving be to our Creator, that us hath made gayer than gold, under his diadem ever to endure. I have forbid that you nay should but keep you well in this stature, the same covenant I charge you hold, in pain of heaven your forfeiture, for I will wend and take my trace, and see this bliss in every tower. Each one of you keep well his place, and Lucifer, I make the governor. Now I charge the ground of grace that it be set in my order. Behold the beams of my bright face, which ever was and shall endure. This is your health in every case, for to behold your Creator. Was never none like me under lace, nay never shall be as my figure, here will I bide now in this place, for to be angels' comforture, to be revisible in short space. It is my will in this same hour. And God exits, leaving his throne alone. 